Have some parties coming up soon? Well, I hope you do, because the nails I'll show you today are perfect for the occasion. Hey loves, I have a new nail art tutorial for you and this time it's a collaboration with one of my favorite nail artists here on YouTube channel. She has a channel called Teleandish and she does the most beautiful, elegant and cute nail designs that I absolutely adore. So today we decided to make party nails and I came up with this fun design which combines zebra leopard print with geometric shapes and bright neon colors. And if you want to know how to achieve this design, grab your nail polish and let's get this party started. Start by applying base coat to protect your nails. Since the color I'll be putting on top is white, one layer of base coat is enough. But when I'm painting my nails red or hot pink, I actually apply two or three layers to prevent staining. Ok, now go ahead and paint all your nails white. I need two coats for an opaque result. For this nail design we'll be using neon colors and you guys know that neon shades pop so much more on top of white. Our blank canvas is ready and now it's time to draw on some designs. Take your nail art or regular scotch tape. I'm using a nail art tape, but you can cut some thin stripes from a piece of usual tape too. Cut two pieces and stick them on the middle finger in a triangular shape like this. Take a bright neon yellow and apply it on the sides of the nail. Try to keep the middle triangle white as we're gonna draw a leopard print design there. Whoops! Some polish leaked to my cuticles, this happens to me all the time. A great tip is to quickly run a toothpick along the cuticle to remove it and make a neat edge. Now we can remove our tape stripes and we end up with some perfect looking lines. For the leopard print start by making a few pink spots using a nail polish brush. Wipe the brush really well, otherwise you may end up with a giant blob of color on your nail. Next outline the dots with a toothpick dipped into black polish. I like to use a stippling motion and make some brackets and some letter C's embracing the pink spots. To fill in the empty space add a few black patches here and there. I also want to make a thin black stripe going along the yellow white edge. You can do it with a striper but I prefer doing it with tape. I'm sticking two tape stripes parallel to each other and filling the empty space between them with black. Remove the tape and voila, you get the perfect stripes. Lastly I like to add a few more black spots to make the pattern bold and rich. Our middle finger is done, let's move on to the ring finger. Stick the tape stripes in the same way as before and color up the left and right side in pink. When removing the tape always move in the same direction as you apply the color. This way the edge will be super neat. Now take a piece of cosmetic sponge. Apply the yellow polish on a little corner like this and dab the color on the white area of the nail. On this nail we're gonna make zebra prints, so take a black striper or small paintbrush dipped in black and make curved lines horizontally across the nail. I like to make some shorter and some longer to get a more realistic effect. Draw two thin black stripes on the edge of the pink and white. I'm doing it with the help of my BFF Mr. Tape and there we go! How pretty is this design, right? On my thumb I'm gonna make a combination of previous two nail designs. This way the whole manicure will be connected and kind of brought together. I have to again run the toothpick along the cuticle. Typical. Remove the tape and then… disaster happens. There are two things I could've done wrong. A. Either the white polish wasn't completely dry yet and B. I forgot to stick the tape on the back of my hand first to make the glue less intense. But I'll show you how to fix it in a bit. First let's apply yellow polish on the other side of the nail, remove the tape and whew, luckily everything went smooth this time. Simply apply some white polish with a precise brush on that knotty spot and we're on the right track once again. Next make some yellow patches on the upper half of the white triangle and draw some zebra wavy stripes. That's actually my first time ever I'm doing a zebra print and I love how it looks. On the bottom half we're making the leopard print. So start with a few pink spots and outline them with black brackets and C shapes. To finish the design draw two thin black stripes on the edge of the white and neon colors. Add a few more leopard spots if needed and you're all done. On the pinky and the pointer I decided to make a little twist to this design idea. On the pinky I'm applying yellow on almost the entire nail but you can keep the top center part white because we'll be applying black there anyway. I like using the combination of precise paint brush and the nail polish brush to color the area neatly. Now remove the tape. Next take a dotting tool and make a big white dot and a smaller one below. 
Color the big dot in yellow and the smaller one in pink like so. On the pointer we're gonna color almost the entire nail in pink. Next make a black triangle in the center of the nail. Did you notice that designs with stripes along the middle of the nail visually elongate the nail and make it look more elegant? Such designs are a perfect solution while you're waiting for your nails to grow. As an our pinky make a larger and a smaller dot on top of the black triangle and color the bigger one in pink and smaller in yellow. All that's left to do is applying a layer of the fast drying top coat to seal all the designs together, give them some shine and protection. I think the combination of the sharp modern lines goes perfectly with the more soft zebra and leopard prints. Fierce and sharp on one side, but still very cute and romantic on the other. I hope you liked my fun party design, I absolutely love it! And if you decide to recreate it, make sure to post a picture on my Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, because I love to see your beautiful masterpieces. Don't forget to check out Janelle's channel for her party nails and subscribe to her because she is amazing! I hope you have some great parties planned ahead, have fun, but stay safe! I love you and I'll see you soon! Bye!